nice if I do that. It's like the most fundamental thing I have for this project. Which is a little silly, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sorry for blocking your view. It needs to be as complex as... stuff again you know I had this spool for years and didn't use it at all it was one of those things I bought and I told myself oh, it'll be useful eventually and then like eh, it probably won't be I probably won't need it and now laser cutters you have basically the design files right there right it's a dxf or svg or something of that nature which is already in itself editable so if there's something that has what you want that's kind of close make it happen um <clears throat> my big suggestion would be because like there's kind of the two ways that you can go about doing laser cut files right there is the version where you go into something like Inkscape or whatever, and you draw it as a flat pattern, and then in your head, you try and put all your pieces together and make sure they work. Or, what you could do is go into a 3D modeling software, some kind of CAD package, nothing wrong with that. Laser is awesome in that way because it's harder to do that with CAD files because, for like 3D printing rather, because usually you get STLs, which are kind of like a picture of the outside of the model and you have no other information and it's an approximation. A triangular net wrapped around that object. But with like electronics boxes or hinges or keypads, etc, etc, etc. That one's probably the better one for you if you're trying to do something weird. Um, can sculpt though and make flat packaging meshes. Well, the nice thing is, is... A, the 3D modeling, only like 40 gauge, if I remember correctly. It's silly, silly thin. And using it without magnification is possible, but it's difficult. Find it here. Um, this one, I think, was the one, the other one. This one's Python based. But yeah, that one allows you to actually do really complicated shapes. Um, hold on. Oh, I have a question, Mossman. I want to design a laser file for a box and don't know where to start. Um, hold, please. <laughs> absolutely easy and so long as I don't have to do it through QMK I think I'll actually do okay <clears throat> fine that's nice that's always what you want Ugh. that's irritating Okay, let's put this back in the frame then and all right, fine. Or it's still nice and secure, so. All right, let's unplug our programming header because now Yeah, 
I thought it got attached nicely. Tiny, tiny wire, right? I think this is something... Next likely uh, candidate is that the chip itself is holding it under reset because of some error state. Um, and uh, 3D model the thing with your material thickness, because especially if you're going to do boxes, you tend to use finger joints or bolt joints or anything like that, where your material thickness makes a big difference. If you got a quarter inch thick material, and your fingers only overlap by an eighth of an inch, then obviously you're gonna get out of the frame. Holding it here. So we need to take one of these very, very tiny wires. I well, should probably check for that short before I go at everything. Um, I don't know if maybe you missed my question or you're an idiot. Uh, did I miss a question from end up with really weird wonky looking edges? But um, yeah, Maker Case is uh, one of a couple of different options. <clears throat> but um, there's a couple of really fun tools for that. Um, and there was another one. Let me see if I can. chip fault, but I try not to blame the components because they tend to be more reliable than me. So... Connected to that pin right there, which you can't really see much, but I swear it's there. <laughs> after after our rant last week. I assume a Dexcom G7 is probably like a constant glucose monitor, would be my guess, given our constant uh, fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, glucose monitor, I thought so. <clears throat> fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, I mean... Obvious.
There, there, so I will say there is Marginally better, I think. It does look like it's a bit out of focus, though. Not much I can do about that, though. Turn it like this. Maybe that'll help. Just gonna put some filters on this guy and make it look a little bit better. 